Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how is it to use uh, Blasted Dip Spray slash Carless. There's another brand that I use which is a alternative to using Blasted Dip. It's slightly cheaper but it's the same purpose. It does the same job. Um, today I'm going to spray, spray paint the emblems of my car and also the chrome trims at the back. I have done my grill before this and it uh, seemed to be holding up pretty well. For most of you all who don't know what plastic dip is or carless rubber coating film is, it's actually a rubber based paint whereby if you spray on any surface and you wait for it to dry, if you don't like it, you can always remove it by peeling it off. It's rubber coat, so it's that easy to use and it's so much more cleaner, it doesn't affect any paint on your car or any other surfaces. If you guys want to use it, um, pretty easy though. You can always do it by yourself like how I'm doing it. Today I'm going to show you how is it to remove the uh, old plastic dip that you have done because the emblems in my car started peeling off because I didn't do it properly the first time. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy to remove and spray the whole thing back again and show how is it that to actually peel it off nicely later on. Hope you enjoy the video. This will be the third coat. Here we go. As you can see, I've already finished all five coats. I decided to do five coats for this one. I just finished. As you can see, it's a bit wet. So I'm going to leave it to dry for about half an hour. 20 minutes is fine. Let's go through with you. I blacked out. If you also see that I actually sprayed on the car as well. The body it doesn't matter. It comes off pretty easily. I'll give you an example. You can see this is my white paint, and here is some scrubs. I actually just use your finger, just rub it off, or if you have a microfiber cloth, 
Just drop it off. Works off pretty easily. Same thing, it works for any sign of surface. You can see. You don't have to worry if it hits the car, it comes off pretty easily and it doesn't damage the paint. You see the paint is pretty clean. I'm going to show you what is it like after the whole thing is done. I'm going to peel it off, clean it off. Okay, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to peel or make it look cool. Let's go ahead, get a corner like this. What you do, just rip it off. Mind you, the thicker the coat, the easier it off, the easier it's going to peel. Uh, I have put about four to five coats. If you notice, if it doesn't peel off really easily, don't worry. You can wait for it to dry even more or harden. You can see it's coming off really easily. Just taking it out, rubbing it with my finger. If you notice, it doesn't damage the paint of the car at all. A lot of patience is required. I'll just show you once the whole thing is done. Be right back. And it's all done. Peel off nicely. You can see certain edges just because the double sided tape at the back. But it looks pretty cool. It's all done. I've already started. The trim at the back and also the emblem, I've already peeled off most of the parts. This one area here, I've already got a peeling. As long as the separation, you can peel off really easily, as you can see. It comes off nice and clean. And ladies and gentlemen, we are all done. The cleaning up, everything, as you can see, no damage to the paint of the car. The chrome is now all blacked out. It's all easy. If you want to know how it's done or if you want to get it done for your car, give me a call, drop me a message or something. Cheers everybody.